And take a look at this five foot Colombian rainbow constrictor. Now imagine it coming out of the toilet mm -hmm. just as you were going to use it. That's nightmares for yes. many of us. Well, it happened yesterday to a terrified young woman. Terrified, no doubt. New at 5, 10 News reporter Joe Little tracked down the woman and the snake. This might make you look twice the next time you use the rest. For sure. This is straight out of an urban legend book. This is the old San Diego City Hall here on G Street in the gas lamp corridor. The pipes here are probably pretty old, but no one would have guessed what was hiding inside of them. I came in here just a normal day. Nature was calling Stephanie Loxa. I noticed that the water level was up a little bit higher than normal. Loxa grabbed the plunger, thinking she was going to blame her partner, Holly Wells, at Vertical PR and Marketing. And then next thing I know, I'm like, this is definitely not Holly's doing. I noticed that something's coming out. I saw the flicker of the snake's tongue. As soon as I realized that that was a snake, I booked it out of there, plunger still in hand, and screamed all the way to my desk. Locks had called her partner. I absolutely didn't believe her. What is it, like a pencil, Sharpie? I said, no, like, this snake's head was huge. I went to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere near that bathroom, but you need to see how big this snake is. So I inched it open, inch by inch, and then I saw the snake's head, and it was huge. She clicked these pictures of the snake coiled behind the toilet. Oh my God. Shut the door, taped it shut, and then screamed and ran and sat on my desk. And Stephanie had her feet up on the desk. <laughs> oh, you are on the desk. Yeah. Your landlord called animal control. This is what was brought out. A five foot Colombian rainbow constrictor. Reopening the thing, pulling the snake out, outreaching and have like a little bit of it's curled on its arm. Did the whole wingspan thing. I am terrified of snakes, so that that's all I ever want to witness. Oh, I was I was shocked. The ladies have been scarred for life. I mean, it's not just this toilet. It's going to be every bathroom experience probably for the rest of my life. Just something we don't ever want coming out of our toilet. I love everything about this story. <laughs> From San Diego's old city hall. This is an urban legend. Joe Little, 10 News. Oh, God. I don't mean to laugh, but that's really funny. Oh, wow, because we're all with her, scarred for life. We're scarred <laughs> we're just from scarred seeing it life. and knowing that, you know, the, the terror really can be for real. All right, sometimes. so this is this is written by Joe Little. This is a Joe Little uh, script right here. The landlord did his best Ace Ventura impression and found out the snake belongs to another tenant. Well, obviously got out, and we are still trying to find out how this snake got away, so we will stay on the story, probably through the toilet, though. Wow, that yes into the other room. Snake in the toilet, wow.